Welcome back guys to NunoSolutions.com. In this episode, I'm going to teach you guys everything you need to know about delegates. I'm also going to get a little bit into events and methods because in order to be able to understand delegates, you you really need to understand methods and also events because they're intertwined. So this is probably one of the most powerful .NET features that's misunderstood. Even if you've been using .NET and C Sharp for a while, you've likely used delegates, but you may not even realize that you're using it. And if you do realize it, you still don't really 100% understand what they are. This is just one of those features that's kind of hard for, for beginners to understand. So the first thing we want to talk about is delegates, events, and methods. So the first topic is going to be what is a method? That's something that most of you probably already know if you're watching this video, but one of the key words that I'm going to keep referring to is what's called a method signature. And then after that, we're going to talk a little bit about what is a delegate. What are some examples of built-in .NET delegates likely that you've already seen and worked with? And then we're going to look at how are events and delegates related and how do they work together? So let's start with what is a method? A method is a code block that typically contains one or many lines to, and is executed by its name. Typically, it takes one or many parameters, um, but it doesn't need to take any parameters. And it has a return type. It can return void, which means it doesn't return anything. But it could also return a class or it could return a, a simple type like an integer. But every method in C Sharp is called by its name. So in this example, in this method that you're looking on the screen, it's called get employee by ID. When you call get employee by ID, this method expects an emp ID parameter to be passed in to it when it's called, which is of type a data type integer. Once this method is completed, it's returning an integer. So what is a method signature? Every method has its own signature. Every method should have an access modifier private, internal, public, whichever. It has a return data type. This could be a class. This could be a, a simple type. This could be a structure. And then every method has a name. So that's called the method name. Every method may have parameters or arguments, and that could be one or many or none. So if there's none, you don't have to pass any parameters in. But the point is that understanding that a method has a signature, it's kind of like it's blueprint. To understand what a delegate is, you have to understand what a method signature is because a delegate is a type that lets you define a method signature. A delegate essentially is a blueprint for a method signature. You've probably used a bunch of delegates before whenever you're hooking up like click events, text changed events, or key down events, right? In your .NET applications, like WPF has the button uh, control, has a click event. And the click event uses the routed event handler delegate. This is actually a built-in delegate to WPF. And that this specific delegate tells .NET that this click event requires whatever signature the delegate defines for the method. So you can't just, for example, you can't just assign any old method to the click event. The click event has a very specific method signature that it needs, and it's determined by whatever delegate is assigned to this event. You're probably familiar with some of these, like text change for the text box or key down for the text box. In event forms, the events the events are similar, like it's a click events. Both of the buttons are click events, for example. But in WPF, it uses a routed event handler, whereas in Win forms, it uses an event handler. So events and delegates are closely related because in order to define an event, you have to specify a delegate. Whether that's a built-in delegate that's already in .NET or it's a delegate that you define yourself, the delegate tells the event what methods are allowed to be hooked into that event. In this example right here, we have a delegate that returns void. The name of the delegate is called event handler. And this is actually a built-in one to WinForms. And it takes two arguments or two parameters, an object and an event args. Now, in the click event of a button, the way they define it is it's a public event and you specify the delegate, which is almost like the blueprint for the method that you can assign to this click event. So any method that you're going to bind to this click event has to follow this method signature. Again, uh, so when you, you're not going to call your method event handler, this is the name of the delegate. But when you, what, let's say you had button underscore click and you're binding it to this click event, to the you know button one click event. I'll show you in the next in the next slide actually. When you're hooking up an event, in the example here, button one dot click, the click is the event. You use the plus equals operator to attach or hook a method to this click event. So the reason why we have new event handler here is because this click event is defined 
using this event handler delegate. So we're creating a new delegate and passing in a method that has the same method signature as what's described by the event handler. Another important factor that is very important to understand is that any event can be hooked one or many times. So in this, in this example here, I'm using button one dot click, right? And I'm, I'm adding a new event handler called method one cl underscore click, and I'm adding another one. I'm hooking another event method two underscore click. When I add the second method two underscore click, it doesn't replace the first one. It just hooks another method into this click event. So when this click event is triggered, when the user clicks button one with their mouse, right? .NET's gonna automatically execute method one underscore click and method two underscore click afterwards. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how this ha actually works. Hopefully this makes sense to you guys and you understand a little bit better how delegates, events, and methods kind of work together in .NET. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.